Hi guys, this is Bhupendra Singh and you are watching our YouTube channel SME Delta. Today, I will tell you how you can calibrate accelerometer using Arduino. So, let's go. So, I have taken 3 axis ADXL 335 accelerometer sensor. You can also use any 3 axis accelerometer sensor that provides analog output. It has 5 pins as you can see. We need to calibrate the accelerometer sensor in many applications like hand gesture controlled any application like robot, home appliances or car accidental information system or application to control any wheelchair for any disabled person etc. Right? So first of all download the program from the link that is available in the video description. This link redirect to you directly to the github website. Here go to the code button, click on it and then click on the download zip. It's start downloading and it's done. Now go to the place where file has been downloaded. It's zip file. So right click on it and click on extract here. As you can see we have got the unzip folder. If you don't have winzip or winrar software to unzip it then the link is available in the video description to download these softwares. Now go inside the folder and open the program with name 3 axis calibration. In this program we define x, y and z as constant integer and initialize them to a0, a1 and a2. Because we connect x, y and z pin of accelerometer to a0, a1 and a2 pin respectively. Below we take xv, yv and zv to store the value of accelerometers x, y and z pin. In the setup mode, we serially begin the board at 9600 baud rate. In the loop function, we call the adxl function every second that we define below. Inside this adxl function, we digitally read the x, y and z pins and store their values to xv, yv and zv variables respectively. After that, we print them serially in a serial monitor so that we can see the values of x, y and z axis of the sensor. Below we comment all of these lines because once we complete the calibration of sensor then we can take the action according to them. Now we will upload this program to our board. We take our customized 8 mega 328 board that is designed by Nutty Engineer Company. You can also contact them for your customizations. Contact link is available in the video description. This board is compatible with Arduino IDE. You can also use Arduino Uno board. Now we upload this program to the board using FTDI programmer. As you can see program has been uploaded to the board. Now connect the accelerometer as per this circuit diagram. You can also download this circuit diagram from the video description. I have placed the accelerometer in the breadboard because it's completely stable in it. Connect your board to laptop and open the serial monitor. You can see the x, y and z values of the accelerometer in the serial monitor. Now time to calibrate the sensor. While I tilt the accelerometer towards forward direction in the x axis, then the value of x is increased till near 380. And while I tilt it in the reverse direction, then the value of x decreased till near 280. Please note it so that we can write it in our program. Now we measure the value of y axis. While I tilt the accelerometer towards left in the y axis, then the value of y increased till near 380. And while I tilt it in the right, then the value of y decreased till near 280. So we go the values of x and y with minimum and maximum tilting point. Now we can take any action on these minimum or maximum values of x and y. Here we are not measuring the value of z axis as it's very typical to tilt the accelerometer in z direction. Okay. Now back to the program. I am taking an example of vehicle where we want to deploy this project. So we put the xv and yv minimum and maximum values. If the x value is less than 280 
or greater than 380 or y value is less than 280 or greater than 380 that means the vehicle has got an accident and i will print accident happen in the serial monitor otherwise it will print normal okay now let's upload this program open the serial monitor as you can see it's displayed normal in the serial monitor and you can see the values of x y and z let's tilt the accelerometer as you can see it's print accident happen and you can see the x value is greater than 380 while i bring back it to the straight position then it prints normal in the serial monitor when i tilt accelerometer in another position then it's print accident happen so guys this is how we can calibrate accelerometer for any application if you have any query or suggestion write it in the comment box below thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel and videos and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the latest update of our video all the material related to this video available in the video description you can download it from there till the next video bye bye